reflecting Christ, December 21st, the scriptures safeguard against deception. Isaiah 8, verse 20, to the law and to the testimony, they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 8, 20, the people of God are directed to the scriptures as their safeguard against the influence of false teachers and the delusive power of spirits of darkness. Satan employs every possible device to prevent men from obtaining a knowledge of the Bible for its plain utterances reveal his deceptions. So closely will the counterfeit resemble the true that it will be impossible to distinguish between them except by the holy scriptures. By their testimony, every statement and every miracle must be tested. Those who endeavor to obey all the commandments of God will be opposed and derided. They can stand only in God. In order to endure the trial before them, they must understand the will of God as revealed in his word. They can honor him only as they have a right conception of his character, government, and purposes, and act in accordance with them. None but those who have fortified the mind with the truths of the Bible will stand through the last great conflict. The Apostle Paul declared, looking down to the last days, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. That time has fully come. The multitudes do not want Bible truth because it interferes with the desires of the sinful, world-loving heart, and Satan supplies the deceptions which they love. But God will have a people upon the earth to maintain the Bible and the Bible only, as the standard of all doctrines and the basis of all reforms. The opinions of learned men, the deductions of science, the creeds or decisions of ecclesiastical councils, as numerous and discordant as are the churches which they represent, the voice of the majority, not one nor all of these could be regarded as evidence for or against any point of religious faith. Before accepting any doctrine or precept, we should demand a plain, thus saith the Lord, in its support. Satan is constantly endeavoring to attract attention to man in the place of God. He leads the people to look to bishops, to pastors, to professors of theology as their guides, instead of searching the scriptures to learn their duty for themselves. Then by controlling the minds of these leaders, he can influence the multitudes according to his will. When Christ came to speak the words of life, the common people heard him gladly, and many, even of the priests and rulers, believed on him. Hope you have a great day today. Reflect Christ.